This is the video review for Transformers Universe uh, Classics 2.0 Deluxe Class Tankor or Octane. I'll probably be referring to him as Octane throughout the review since that is the original G1 character that he's clearly meant to reference. Um, they just didn't have the rights to the name anymore. As you can see, he's uh, loosely based off a C-130 cargo jet. Um, he is a propeller plane. Uh, kind of a nice contrast to all the jet planes that have been coming out in the line. Um, he has a couple gu these guns are mounted right here. Um, he rolls a little bit. He does have the shield slash tank piece on the bottom. So they, all the modes suffer a little bit just due to um, being a triple changer. But that's to be expected. It's not bad. Wings are a little shorter than I'd like. But um, it's, a, it's a fairly decent representation, all things considered, of, of a cargo plane. Now the first thing to transform him to a tanker mode is you want to flip these wings up. And these are geared together, so you flip one up, the other one will flip up. Um, I find it's a little easier to remove the guns when, once the wings are up as opposed to trying to squeeze up under there between the wings. And then um, I'm going to flip this mode. Basically, basically I'm going to take this, split it in half, flip these tabs up, and then you flip pieces, and then rotate them so the truck mode windows are facing out. And these will come up around the wings here. There's a little trick to the propellers. The propellers are up and down, so once you get them lined up right, those will stay together. And then just snap this around the wings. And there's just enough clearance here for the wheels. They're hanging down a little loose just because they're hanging. But there's just enough clearance for the wheels to roll with the propellers. Uh, then the tank section just rotates up on this hinge. And then you want to squeeze these two pieces to get this little flaps together. Like this. And then the jet mode cockpit splits in half here and then actually rotates on this blue hinge rotates up and snaps into place like that and then the tabs into the tank bit to hold it in place and then the guns can go in the what become the robot mode hands in this mode you can have them sitting back here as kind of armaments on the back of the truck. Um, others have pointed out that you can take these and put them right here on the truck as smokestacks. So it kind of gives them a little bit of a, I think it looks a little better with a mingled back. And that's usually how I display them with the stacks. Uh, again, um, definitely suffers a bit from being a triple changer. But it's actually um, a fairly decent representation of some of the uh, tanker trucks currently in use. I mean, obviously there's some open gaps here, and you know, you're not going to see an airplane cockpit in the back of a tanker truck. It's going to be a solid tank. But, but overall, I mean, it, it's definitely evocative of the uh, type of vehicle it's trying to be. It would be nice if it were a little, a little closer to it, but again, triple changer. Um, so their sacrifices are being made. And then for robot mode, this time instead of rotating it, you want to just pop this piece completely off. It just pops in and out of this tab here. I'll remove the guns. And then split the legs right here and extend them. And then the front cockpits of this here, the feet flip out. And again, over here, flip out the feet. Um, this whole waist assembly rotates down into place right here. Now you pull the wings up and kind of angle them. The blue hinges fold back up, and then you the little black hinge within them on a ball joint pops down like this. And then you flip the, the arm down and rotate the fist out. Do the same on this side, rotate this piece back up into place and the ball joint here down and then flip the arm down and then rotate the fist out and then for the robot head you just take this piece flip it up, there's his head and then fold these panels back down and they'll tab into place over the arms And 
and this more or less is the official robot mode according to the instructions. It's not bad. Um, it's, it's a little tall and lanky and skinny, but not bad. Um, one of the things that I like to do that I think makes them look a lot better is instead of ro transforming the arms like this, take it, rotate the arm out, and rotate the shoulder pad up like that with the arm down below it. Um, it makes the arms look not quite as short and stubby. Um, gives them some bulkier shoulder pads. Um, also, I generally display him instead of having the guns before. Actually, before I reattach those up there, the guns he can hold individually in each hand. Um, they can also be combined to make a, a four-barreled weapon. But I, I like to display them right up here. Just angled so they're kind of pointing vertically with the wind with the wings at an angle. That's that's how I generally display Octane in robot mode. Um, this piece, you can if you want to, you can tab it on using the vehicle mode tabs as a shield. Um, it does open up to make a, a comb or a thresher type weapon. Um, clearly, the Decepticons need to harvest all that corn for their new uh, eco-friendly ethanol-based energon. I don't know, um, but he can hold that in his hand. And again, you can position the blades however you want. He's a little shorter than some of the other deluxes. Um, here he is next to Sunstreaker. You can see Sunstreaker is a little taller. And he's a little thinner, but overall, um, he's a much better figure than I was expecting. I, I bought him mostly because I couldn't find anything else. And I said, eh, I'll take a chance. If I don't like him, I can, I can trade him or sell him. And he, I actually like him a lot more than I did. I really wanted to hate him after all the complaining I did about him when we first saw pictures. And he's a surprisingly good little figure. There's a lot of neat little uh, tricks to the transformation that I like. I, I wish the alt modes were a little bit more complete, but again, triple changer. I, I, I guess that's really the standard tri triple changer caveat is it's a triple changer. Um, but he's a, he's a nice little robot. I actually like his robot mode quite a bit. And... Um, Definitely worth picking up. I think he's definitely worth the 10 bucks. And this is coming from a guy who wouldn't have taken him for free when I first saw pictures of him. So he's a welcome addition to the Decepticon Army. Um, Transformers Universe Deluxe Class Tankor slash Octane.